claims it was an accident. Today, the man being held responsible for scalding a baby girl got, an, got emotional in court because he says he doesn't want to go back to jail. Mm, that baby is still in the hospital recovering tonight from those burns. And experts tell us it doesn't take long at all for a baby to get bad burns during a bath. News 8's Bob Wilson live in Hartford tonight with more on this case. Bob? You know what? In court today, it came out that he said it was an accident. Doctors who testified thought maybe, maybe not. The evidence kind of can go both ways as the man accused of scalding a baby was in court today. Tylone Graham was in court this morning accused of scalding a 10-month-old girl during a bath in the kitchen sink. It happened eight days ago at this house on May Street. It came out in court that Graham admitted to giving the child a bath and leaving her unattended in the sink while looking for a towel. He told police he didn't want to go back to prison, but he accepts responsibility for his actions, and he has been in prison before. Last conviction was 2010. It was for possession of a firearm. Did receive three years, uh, three years and two years special parole. Does have prior convictions for sale, evading, breach of peace, threatening possession, and failure to appear. Now, all along, Graham has maintained that this was an accident. He just left the baby unattended. Doctors in court papers say maybe, maybe not. The burn patterns are consistent with an accident. However, there are, quote, suspicious marks on the left side of the baby's face that are unaccounted for. Meanwhile, the 10-month-old is recuperating here at CCMC, and doctors say scald burns can be pretty nasty. Single tap in the sink, you, the child reaches in the sink when you're bathing them, they turn it on, they can get scalded pretty quickly. If the temperature of the water is over 130 degrees, it only takes about five seconds to give that child a second or third degree burn. The baby girl suffered burns over 20% of her body and it can take weeks to heal. While investigators don't know exactly how the baby was scalded, doctors say there is an easy test to figure out whether or not the water is too hot. Some people say, oh, I test it with my hand. Actually, the hand skin is fairly thick. The best thing to do is stick your elbow in there. If it's hot to your elbow, it's probably too hot for your child. Your child has thin skin. Now, the baby tonight in good condition. DCF has taken it into custody. I'm Bob Wilson, reporting live in Hartford, News 8.